It's pizza o'clock somewhere. Ain't that something? Okay, we're on our way to Carl Duval Moore. Okay, we're here at the Carl Duval Moore State Forest. And this is one of the little kiosks that they have. And here's a map. There's really not a lot here. And the other part of this has like a walking trail, but I don't even see that here, so I don't know really what you would do here. Um, I guess this is the walking trail for this one. Where that goes, I don't know. It looks like the trail only goes about 20 feet and then turns into woods. They have this that's got this big steel gate here. It's padlocked up. So I really don't know, but this is right off Highway 20. About a half a mile down, you'll see the signs that say Carl Duval Moore State Forest. But uh, I actually used, to, I knew Carl Duval Moore. I guess you know you're old when you know someone that's uh, got a state forest named after him. We're going to go now check out the other part of Carl Duval Moore State Forest. Come along. Okay, we're at the Valero station a little further down on 2020. On uh, Highway 20, I meant. And this is Twin Lakes Road. And we're just going to drive down to the other part of Carl Duval Moore State Forest. This is not uh, marked out very well if you were trying to find it from the road, so. exactly sure what this road is but we'll find out in two seconds old Gainesville Highway that's right I remember when this was all a dirt road man I'm old still a dirt road right there they haven't paved that part of it yet although most of the old Gainesville Highway is now gone and from the old Gainesville Highway you would turn right on Old Woods Road. So back in the 80s, in the early 80s, all throughout the 80s, Carl Duval Moore used to just hang out at the Handyway store in his little pickup truck. I think it was a Toyota. And he just sat in the parking lot. And I don't know, people just thought he was strange, but apparently, he, I guess he didn't have any family or something and he willed his property to the state when he died so they turned them into these state forest little nature trail things now this one that we're going to down here actually has a nature trail whereas the one we had just went to doesn't really seem to have much there at all I don't know and a few years back, there was a winery on this road, but uh, the winery closed down. I guess they weren't doing enough business or what the reason was. But So they still have the signs up, too, on Highway 20 and Highway 315 that say winery. But uh, if you were driving through here, you know, you'd probably be disappointed if you followed the signs. Although even the signs don't really lead you to the place because it's way back in the woods back there and you'd have to, you know, try to find it. But we took a drive out here a few years back trying to find it and it wasn't easy to find. And this is still Old Woods Road. No, it's Rodeo Drive it's turned into. I've never understood how roads change just a few feet down. So 
this is rodeo drive in interlocking and we're going to be pulling up here any second to the carl duval moore state forest the other part of it and no they don't connect they're not like a trail that connects this is one little loop out here somebody made a video of this about 10 years ago and it's got like 30 views so i don't imagine this one will do any better but we'll see so we are going to pull in here this is the Carl Duval Moore State Forest. I don't know if this has a name. That's like a separate name. But I'll get out. We'll go look at the kiosk. Just to see if it says anything different on this one. Now there is a video, like I said, of somebody riding a bike through here. That was made about 10 years ago. And I'm in shorts and low top shoes. And I'm not about to go down this trail because I'm sure this is a snake haven. But here's the kiosk here, which is just a map. You can get a trail walker program. I have no idea what that is. But that's it on the kiosk. And they do have like things here that tell you the what these are red maple i wouldn't think there'd be any maple trees in florida anyway this is about everything i'm going to show you this trail goes down i'm not sure how far but there is a lake down there and it has a little dock thing at least what i've seen you know from that video that looks pretty neat if i was in jeans and cowboy boots i'd probably come out here and try to walk it all the way down but not doing it in shorts and low top all right thanks for watching my video everybody i know it's not thrilling but some people do like these kind of nature videos and I bet you there is all kinds of wild critters out here. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.